my name is Christopher Tobe Okolo. I'm a Nigerian. I'm currently a lecturer at the Amadou Bele University in the Asian city of Zaria in northwestern Nigeria. I am a PhD student and I really, really enjoyed the course on reproducibility. I think it came at a very a timely moment in my doctoral research. I love the way the instructor, Dr. Bright Umaru, started by giving a very holistic and broad explanation on the essence and the need of reproducibility and narrowed it down to the specifics. What really did it for me was the case study, splitting us into different groups, interacting with people from different countries, different backgrounds, different expertise, and the case studies that we had to solve as a group thinking alike and you know bringing our a game to you know solve the problem spanning through several days that for me was really 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 impressive this is a course i strongly encourage and recommend to all african scientists irrespective of where you are to undertake and this for me is something that i'm going to apply in my doctoral research work the vision and mission of the African Science Frontier Initiative, or as far as you fondly call it, of empowering young African scientists with the knowledge and skill, is a mandate that all Africans should embrace. Because it is in this empowering of knowledge and skill that we are able to build ourselves in order to find solutions to African developmental challenges. On the overall, I really do enjoy this program. And on a grade of 1 to 10, I will give it a 10 and plus. Aside from the reproducibility course, the ASFI program also offers courses in systematic review and meta-analysis and, and other courses that applies to our field of sciences. I strongly recommend you to take up one of these courses. It is nice that we're getting this for free. I mean, these are courses that could go for several hundreds or even thousands of dollars. So let's take advantage of this opportunity to attend these courses and empower ourselves. I do hope that after undergrad going this training and probably at the end of my PhD, I will be able to offer my own quota as a way of payback to the broader society of the skills that I've acquired and groom more scientists. Thank you very much, Dr. Bright. Thank you very much, Emma, and thank you to all the guys that I've interacted with in the course of this program. I'm looking forward to learning more and also sharing my ideas. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Patricia Ramji, I'm a medical doctor and I work as a researcher at the National Institute of Health uh, in Mozambique. Um, our uh, language is Portuguese and in Portuguese we call this institution Instituto Nacional de Saúde. I participated in the reproducibility course that took one week. Um, and uh, was a very intensive course. I like the fact that um, the course was very interactive uh, and uh, we had lots of discussion sessions about the team. Uh, the most interesting part for me was the concept of reproducibility and its practical application. I could not imagine that reproducibility would be uh, a very uh, complex concept with lots of faces. I think that the teaching methods were very innovative and had some pressure, but uh, I think that the pressure was important to the general understanding and to make sure that uh, everyone was present and informed regarding what was going on. Uh, I recommend this course to, to my colleagues and everyone uh, in science because it brings uh, lots of information um, and important topics and relevant discussions to make uh, good science. It was my first time uh, doing a course uh, 
led by ASFI uh, and I felt that more African organizations should have uh, capacity building initiatives like this with more or less the same vision. Building capacity and strengthening uh, the knowledge um, of African scientists is more than necessary because we all know the limitations of Africa in terms of opportunities and we cannot ignore this detail that puts our continent in science, uh, behind in science. I believe that uh, only science can change uh, the point where Africa is uh, at this moment and to make good science um, we need to invest in education and capacity building. The teaching methods and materials are, are quite good as well as the, the course organization and I simply love the interaction and the team spirit that was created during the, the group discussions and I would like to thank this opportunity to say thank you to SFI to, 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 do, to gave me the, opportun the opportunity to be part of this course. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Azoma Oedikachi, a lecturer at Alex Ekweme Federal University in Dufualike Iko in Nigeria, and I just took part in this particular course titled Reproducibility in Scientific Research, which was organized by African Science Frontiers Initiatives, and I can tell you categorically that I enjoyed every bit of this course ranging from the lecturers themselves, the materials that we used for the course, and um, uh, the, mod the way we were taught, we were split into groups, and these groups, we, we, we got ourselves hands-on with problems pertaining to reproducibility in science research, and it was really, really expository and overwhelming. And I recommend this course to all the colleagues, especially uh, researchers in Africa, because I see that reproducibility in research is a serious issue that majority of African researchers do not know about. Okay, so I recommend this course for everyone to go through. I equally um, uh, embrace the vision of the African Science uh, Frontiers Initiatives because I feel that they are here to help researchers, especially the young academics, to develop their uh, career, to develop very well in their career. And beyond this course, I would want to attend uh, other courses organized by the African Science Frontiers Initiatives and I will rate the quality of teaching and the materials given to us in this training as very high. Thank you very much. Hi everyone, I am Abdurrahman Afitri from Ghana. I am currently a volunteer research assistant at the Department of Environmental Science, University of Cape Coast, and also a PhD candidate at BTU Codebook at Lubeck, Germany. My research areas include environmental and resource management, water quality and treatment, and multivariate statistics. As a young career researcher, I am keen at indulging with deeper knowledge to broaden my perspective around the environment, with the ambition of providing cutting-edge research across disciplines, a dream that could be cut short without any further advancement in skills. I decided to go for the African Science Frontiers Initiative course on reproducibility in scientific research. I personally found the course extremely timely, novel, and super fantastic. My ambition and motivation for joining the course was met. The course strengthened my practical and scientific competences in reproducibility in scientific research. I gained new knowledge and insights from course participants. And more importantly, I made connections and collaborations among colleagues all over Africa. The approach to teaching the course vis-a-vis -vis the explanation of concepts by the course facilitator, the review of case studies, brainstorming of ideas in breakout sessions, the practical application of what is being discussed, and the execution and presentation of projects by group by class groups were phenomenal. I will rate the quality of teaching and materials given at ASFI excellent.
and would like to use this opportunity to recommend ASFI programs to all researchers in Africa to join STEAM and similar programs organized by ASFI in order to build your capacity and, and, career, and career development in the African continent. Special thanks to Professor Nwaro for the great skills demonstrated and all others involved in making the course a success. I embrace ASFI vision and mission. That is the vision to raise the next generation African scientists with right competences to drive African developmental and transformational agenda through innovative scientific research. It is my dream and hope that scholars in Africa stand up to this great, excellent and, and important initiative that is being uh, initiated by ASFI to make Africa a better continent. Lastly, I look forward to partaking upcoming courses by ASFI in the coming days ahead. Thank you. Hello. Um, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Uh, my name is Anne Fienfunua Songo. I'm a PhD student in the University of Ibadan, Nigeria, and um, I'm currently working as an embryologist in the University College Hospital, Ibadan. Uh, overall, the course uh, on reproducibility in scientific research among African scholars was a very wonderful opportunity for me and I was able to learn a lot. Uh, the most interesting part for me was the grouping, the method of grouping, you know, it, uh, gives, it gave us the avenue to task our brain, to critically think, analyze, you know, bring up ideas and it, it opened uh, a window of, of knowledge. A lot of things that I didn't know before now, and I was able to get uh, first-hand information on this very important aspect of research that a lot of us just really overlook, especially uh, young rising scientists. Um, the approach, the method of teaching was very wonderful, you know, um, it was really interesting to be very honest, it was, despite the busy schedule, I was able to still follow up because of, the, you know, I was always looking forward to the next day because there was, there was a lot of, I, I was sure that there were going to be too many things to be uh, taught again for me to learn. And uh, it was, the, the, the presentations, the manner of teaching, the courses, everything was just really wonderful and interesting. And I recommend it for, a lot of my colleagues as many people that are doing research fix your mind on the basic very 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 important fundamental principles of research and it will help us as african scientists you know to produce quality and standard uh, research um it's a very good vision and i hope that asfi will be able to reach out to as many people as possible especially young ones you know to them um, uh, postgraduate students most especially you know so that they will be able to have that knowledge in their background in the foundation of their career as is as a researcher whether in science social science arts and the likes um this was my first uh on this the just concluded course was my first time our first course in the SFI and I hope I hope and I look forward to joining on more courses because it was really interesting and um, I rate them a hundred a hundred all the way so thank you for the opportunity thank you for teaching us thank you for exposing us to what is right and what is correct and proper to do in research thank you very much Hi, I am Ahmed Osman Ahmed Fadlallah from Sudan. I work for University of Khartoum Faculty of Nursing Sciences Medical Nursing Department. I attended the course of free producibility in scientific research and actually it was very fruitful and uh, benef very beneficial. I learned much of knowledge and skills from that course. Actually, this is my first time to attend a course like that. Uh, the most interesting things I learned from this course is the importance of credibility 
and uh, and the importance of avoiding frauds in the area of scientific research I recommended this course to my colleagues and friends as it will equip them and address them with uh, some specific knowledge regarding uh, the uh, process of conducting research uh, so it, wa it will be uh, reproducible and uh, it will maintain the integrity of the research process. I like the ASFI mission which is to equip and, and enrich the African scientists with the skills and knowledge needed to help the Africa's development. I uh, actually uh, rate this course with a high score uh, regarding the importance of the knowledge and skills provided by this course. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Juliet Ango. I'm a Nigerian. I'm a medical doctor with the University of Nigeria Teaching Hospital, Enugu, and I'm a consultant in public health and community medicine. On the overall, I enjoyed the reproducibility in scientific research course organized by AFSI. It was engaging, it was interactive, and it was an eye-opener. Um, I also I loved the diversity of participants. We had participants from over 18 African countries. And I also loved the practical sessions we had. We were divided into groups where we were given opportunity to collaborate, to network, and also to learn from our different backgrounds. Another thing that stood out for me were the articles and the case studies used in this uh, course. They were actually very exceptional, they were unique and mind-blowing. They were quite interesting and I, I, it was good to learn more, you know, reading going through the case studies shared during this uh, course. And um, as a whole, yeah, I love the approach that was used in the, in the course. Uh, Dr. Bright and his team were very patient. They ensured everyone was carried along and uh, they explained and we explained till everyone was on the same page. And I also love the fact that experts were brought from the field where they came and uh, shared their work with us and also the checklist and software they were using to ensure that uh, their work was reproducible and uh, so that people that, so that as researchers when we're conducting our, uh, this will be able to apply steps and uh, standard methodologies to ensure that our work are reproducible. So I love that approach. And uh, yes, I will recommend this course to every researcher and every African scientist out there because uh, reproducibility as a concept is not so, uh, the level of awareness is abysmally low as we realize because very few of us had an idea or knew about reproducibility in research prior to the course. So there's a need for every uh, I'll recommend this to my colleagues, I'll recommend it to my network and uh, every researcher because there's a need for every researcher to apply ethical uh, standards and uh, code of conduct in their research. And um, yes, I support the vision of AFSI to, uh, to drive, to, in, to equip uh, African scientists with the right uh, competencies, you know, so they'll be able to uh, produce quality research, innovative research that will bring about Africa's development. And uh, we can all start from our small circle and I intend to actually increase the level of awareness and also bring about uh, uh, having, conducting my, my team, you know, setting up my team and conducting my research in my own small way to contribute my quota. And um, Oh yes, uh, this is my first time in FSI, uh, attending FSI, and I really enjoyed it. It was quite engaging, it was quite a uh, stress because at times we have to uh, walk in our small groups also in the night and report in the morning, but it was actually, uh, it was worth it because I learned a lot and, uh, I, and there are so many courses that have been lined up you know, provided by AFSN and I intend to actually come back. This won't be my last at all, you know. So um, the teaching the teaching methods, yeah, I'll rate the teaching methods as excellent because uh, the it was quite interactive. The breakout sessions were very active with supervisions, you know. The, the method of delivery, the facilitators actually demonstrated mastery of the subjects and uh, I will really rate them excellent. They did superb. So I will actually encourage every African scientist out there to actually key in and, uh, and join the vision, key in and uh, 
uh, learn more from FSI because they are providing these courses for free and uh, it will go a long way. I promise you, you won't regret it because uh, I really enjoyed and learned a lot from it. Thank you, Dr. Bright, for your time and thank you, FSI, for this opportunity. God bless. My name is Farai Kevin Munyai um, and I am a PhD student at the University of Western Cape in South Africa. I work for ITEC Namibia uh, as the HTS program lead and I'm based uh, here in Windhoek. I am from Zimbabwe where I trained as a biomedical scientist at the University of Zimbabwe. I really enjoyed the uh, reproducibility in scientific research course. Uh, it was really interesting discovering how much research out there could be irreproducible um, which brings into question transparency in research, uh, issues of fraud in research. Uh, I found the rates at which published work is withdrawn quite alarming. Um, so there were really interesting concepts um, around reproducibility of, uh, of research out there. The teaching approach was excellent uh, with good balance in uh, presentations, uh, the experiences shared by other scholars uh, and the practical project uh, which really got all participants to put the reproducibility concepts and processes into into practice so that was really interesting uh, i would recommend this course to other scientists or researchers the course really adds value uh, and authenticity to research work uh, that one uh, can, can embark on I am really uh, grateful uh, to ASFI uh, on getting this opportunity to attend this course uh, and for ASFI's vision to empower the African scientists and as with other ASFI courses that I have attended, uh, the quality of the teaching was just uh, excellent. Um, so I'd like to say congrats to the team and uh, to wish you well, keep up the good work and see you at the, at the, at the next spot. Hello, good evening everyone. My name is Adobo Kola Wadi Daniels from the Nigerian Institute for Philosophy and Marine Research, Fair Islands in Nigeria. I am a researcher in the Department of Fisheries Resources, the section Marine Biology. I'm currently a principal research officer in that department. I like to I'm doing this video as a feedback for the course I attended on sustainability in scientific research organized by ASFI. And okay, how do I really like this course? Wow, this course was really inspiring because it's really it's an everyday work in the world. We do here as a researcher, that is where we do very appropriate kind of research work. And our work from the, the course, I was able to learn that our work, whatever research work we are doing, should be able, we should be able to use it elsewhere. Or even someone elsewhere sees our, our, our research work from the protocol, they should be able to go through and you know, we can take what we have reproduced, what we have done. Okay. The most interesting part of this course to me was everything about the course was interesting. First of all, I want to appreciate uh, Professor Bright Mario. He took out his time to bring the course to the simplest level to people for each and every one to understand at the same level. And then before the course began, we were shared into different groups. That we use during the course. So during the course, there are very specific time devoted for breakout sessions where we uh, discuss projects and activities that we are doing work during the course. We have to meet with other colleagues from different countries and different parts of Africa and even different parts of the nation. Now, I would like to recommend this course. Yes, um, the possibility is I did writing. Scientific um, research to all my other colleagues in the office because they will learn a lot from this course. All postgraduate students will be able to go through this course. This course is, 
This is such a way that they have recorded the video and have been sent to YouTube. Search for years to find YouTube and go through each and every of their course. Aside from this course, I've also been able to participate in the recorded videos I saw online on grant rights and some other very important videos of the more projection. Now the, the main mission of FFI is to bring us at par with our counterparts abroad by giving us capacity building, giving us of in our research career so that we need to wherever we go and not just local champions, we know what we are doing. And I want to appreciate FFI for this opportunity because I would have qualified this course, I would have paid a lot of money. I would have paid a lot of money to be able to attend this course. But it came to me free. I want to appreciate SFI for this opportunity. The course and the quality of course materials that were used for this um, training was really, really very excellent material. Started from when the materials were sent, yes, as a PDF, and the videos that we were able to um, listen to all that coming. Collaborators to listen to their presentation, their uh, slides, presentation, every material they use was really excellent material. But they, they, they shared it with us. So I, I'm going back home and I'm going to go to the channel. I'm going to go to the school. I'm going to go to the every material that was given to me. I'm going to digest it for me. Yes, I'm going to go to the school. I'm going to go to the school. I also encourage each and every one of us. For ASFI, and we see their videos and the people that are registered there for us. Give us up. Give you up as a researcher. Please take our time to put some money and data. Or take our time to go to this place and you will not get it. Thank you so much for this awareness and giving me this opportunity. Thank you to all members of ASFI. I really appreciate uh, this opportunity that I was giving you. Hello, my name is Tony. I'm an MFA graduate from the Fashion Unit from the University of Cape Coast. I'm currently working as an African American scientist. My sister is an African Science for the Initiative, especially Professor Brian Kumar, who is the organizer of the countries in Africa with diverse professional and academic background such that it's fostered a collaborative relationship between me and this participant beyond my wildest imagination. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I will give 10 in that the quality of the teaching and the material shared during My name is Dedeke Olabisi. I'm a consultant pediatrician. I work with the Federal Medical Center, Abel Okuta, Ogun State, Nigeria. 
I'm a Nigerian and um, my current position in the hospital is a chief consultant pediatrician. My interest is in pediatric neonatology as well as pediatric nutrition and infectious disease. I like the African Scientific Frontier Initiative programs and I was opportuned to be part of the last training that held between the 24th to 25th of February 2022 and that was on reproducibility in scientific research. For me, before this training, I had never really had opportunity of undergoing any training on reproducibility. But when I attended the class, then I knew that it's important for scientific researchers to know and be on the go training on reproducibility. Because without reproducibility, our work may not be transparent enough for others to be able to produce the same thing that we have done and get the same result. So for me, reproducibility was actually a very nice course. And in that course, I was also opportune to interact with other researchers, especially during the breakout sessions. And then even it also taught me as an individual to be very happy. Because at some point in the group, I didn't even know I was going to make any presentation. But because we worked real time, we were using Google Form, Google Documents, and Google Sheets, as well as Google PowerPoint presentation, and we could work real time. So many people from different aspects of Africa were working together at the same time. And, you know, we were able to, as a group, form a questionnaire. And that, for me, was the icing on the cake. Because we formed the questionnaire, we answered the questionnaire, we were able to analyze, and then we were also able to do the same thing that we were being taught. So for me, that was outstanding, and I really appreciate ASFI for this. I would be also like to undergo this training again if I'm given another opportunity, and I would also like to recommend this training to other people, other sci scientific, uh, scientific scientists in Africa so that they could also know that our work is not in isolation. We cannot work on our own. Our work has to be transparent enough for people to be able to get the same thing we have gotten in other climb doing exactly what we have done. So for me, I appreciate ASFI, I appreciate Brighton Waru, I appreciate Emerson, and I appreciate everybody that were part of that reproducibility training. Thank you and have a lovely day. Bye. I was a participant um, for the ASFI training on research reproducibility. I really like the program so much, uh, especially um, uh, when we had to be put into groups. Um, this helped us to network and also learn about what each other brought on board and appreciate um, various expertise. Um, I believe in capacity building. And so I can identify with the mission and vision of ASFI to develop African scientists in their area of expertise. I, I learned a lot during the program. Um, before the training, when I saw the ad, I thought that, oh, this must be interesting. It could be about just um, redoing research for uh, maybe verification. Um, I would have equated replicability to reproducibility. But after the program, I realized that replicability is a gold standard and it's not that simple or easy to achieve. However, the minimum standard is reproducibility and that helps with verification, it helps with transparency. Um, and so um, it's very important. Many people start doing research without thinking about the fact that somebody will be able to do the same thing and probably get the same results or different results, find something different. And so I think it's very good for scientists to be thinking about reproducibility when they begin to write a proposal and, and write their protocols and, um, and prepare the analysis plan. It's very important that researchers think about these things so that um, our publications can be reproduced um, for society because um, science plays a vital role in solving societal problems. So I'm glad that I took the course and I look forward to more interesting trainings um, 
um, from ESFI, especially the one on meta-analysis. Thank you, Professor Nwaru, for the opportunity. God bless you. My name is Onyinyechi Ndamele Akoma Abadaiki from the University of Potakot, Nigeria. I'm a researcher and lecturer in the Department of Microbiology Technology, School of Science Laboratory Technology. I'm a senior lecturer. My area of specialization is environmental microbiology. I was a participant in the just concluded ASFI course in reproducibility in scientific research. The course was impactful, informative, and the sections were interactive. The concept of reproducibility was emphasized. I now know the difference between reproducibility and replication that for my research to be reproducible, a different investigator must be able to duplicate my results using the same method that I applied. And also the need for there to be transparency in my research. The part that was most interesting to me was the breakout room. It afforded me the opportunity to work with other members of my group to carry out assignments and tasks given to us. It also gave me the opportunity to collaborate with other researchers from different parts and institutes in Africa. I would definitely recommend the ASFI course to my other colleague this is because it will enhance their research capacity. Going forward, I will always have a pre-registration of my research protocol. I'm no longer afraid that my research ideas will be hijacked by other scholars. And on the other hand, it will enhance the credibility of my research and it will also make it the vow of publication bias. I will love to be part of future ASFI courses. The materials and the teaching given during the course we are sufficient and adequate. I want to say a big thank you to all members of the ASFI Good morning. My name is Idris Salifu. I'm from Ghana. I'm a student at the African Center of SLA in Coastal Resilience at the University of Cape Coast, Ghana. Oh, I'm currently uh, a student. Um, I like ES, IF, uh, ESFI course uh, overall because uh, it's a course that basically seeks to build capacity for scientists in Africa and I've really enjoyed being one of the participants in this I mean program or this course. Uh, this is my second time of participating in ASFI. My first one was in the scientific research writing and um, this one I'm now I also participated in the reproducibility as course so I've really enjoyed it and it's one of the good courses that I've benefited. Uh, one thing I like about the course is that, uh, as I've mentioned, it seeks to build capacity for African scientists uh, how to effectively write or how to scientifically write. And I really enjoyed this particular course in the reproducibility because it took us through how we can reproduce, I mean, knowledge, uh, and also how to make, I mean, scientific research transparent and trustworthy. And I really enjoyed the program. Yeah, so I really, because of what I've learned and my experience, I will not hesitate in recommending this course to colleagues to also learn, because it's one of the courses that if everybody get the opportunity to learn, their mentality or their way of thinking in terms of scientific research will change, and we are all going to drive Africa to the best point of view. So I will recommend it to my colleagues. Yeah, uh, this course 
have embraced it as a vision because it seeks to build capacity. We have realized that Africa is far behind when it comes to I mean, research, scientific research and especially reproducibility course. So this course was very perfect and I really like it how it was presented. Um, beyond the course, um, uh, before that, what I mostly like about this reproducibility call that I participated was that um, ESFR normally group us into groups and beside that they were assigned tasks to us and what I enjoyed this year was the facilitators made us collect survey data f among ourselves to assess the awareness, perception and the current practice of reproducibility and based on this result he asked us to come out with our own initiative that will enhance reproducibility in scientific research and I really enjoy it and not only the I mean the research that I was, I was we, we experienced how people are trying to put initiative to make sure that we can enhance reproducibility and it was one of the um, the part that I really enjoyed most yes uh, beyond this course uh, as I've mentioned earlier this is not my first time of participating I've participated in different courses and this is my second time so I've enjoyed it so I'll there are other courses that I would like to also I mean participate in if I get opportunity like what you call the data management you also have what you call grant writing and it's one of the programs that I'm, I, if I get opportunity I'll participate I'll be pulling most of the I mean the video that I've been loaded online and I really enjoyed how it was presented to me yeah sure yeah oh in terms of quality I mean the facilitator is on point you know the pedagogical was very clear the task that was assigned to us was good and we all it was a handsome practical thing that everybody got opportunity to participate so it was very clear yeah so in all ESFI is one of the good program that I will encourage everybody to participate especially if you don't get the opportunity to participate you will go to the online the YouTube account ESFI and you have to I mean follow all the documents and the video that we have loaded and you will never regret I mean when you get access to this I mean materials I'm very grateful I'm very grateful once again for the support you give to me thank you Hello, I am Dr. Choma Wewe, a Nigerian, a veterinary doctor by profession and a lecturer at the University of Nigeria, Soka. I was part of the just concluded reproducibility course by the African Science Frontiers Initiative that held from the 21st to 25th of February 2022. I really enjoyed the course, the lectures, the activities, the group project, it was really worth it. The most interesting part of the course for me, and ironically the most challenging was the group project because it was unfortunately for me to practice what I've learned, to present it, to take correction and improve on my lapses. The ASFI reproducibility course, just like other ASFI courses, is not the usual kind of sit and listing training. You, it was highly participatory, it was interactive, we had group projects, we had presentations, and then another interesting part was that uh, some researchers came in and shared with us how they applied and are still applying the concept of reproducibility in their research work. I highly recommend ASFI reproducibility course to my colleagues because prior to my joining the training, I thought that reproducibility was all about avoiding fraud in research. But at the end of the train, I found out that it involved proper reportage. It also involved key steps that will help you as a scientist and as a researcher to make sure that your work is valid and transparent. I strongly believe in the mission and vision of African Science Frontiers Initiative because I know that when the African scientist is properly equipped with the rudiments of research, there's going to be innovations, there's going to be discoveries, and this will be useful in overcoming the challenges of our continent, especially in the area of development. The African Science Frontiers Initiative courses equips one as a researcher with fundamental things such as scientific writing, grant writing, leadership, and, and a lot more. And when you go through these courses, you come out as a seasoned scientist. The, there are a few trainings that can actually compare with um, ASFI trainings with regards to the passion and the competence of the trainer, 
his experience and his expertise as well as the quality of materials that we are given at the end of the training that's simply top notch you are not just trained but you're also exposed to post mentoring a uh, post training mentorship as well as um the ease to consult again with the materials the videos the slides and they actually relate to life situations on the practicability of the concept of my name is Kelvin Roland Mobido. I am from Uganda and I work with the Fred Hatch Cancer Research Center that collaborates with the Uganda Cancer Institute. I am a statistician by profession and I currently work as a senior data manager. I attended the SFI course uh, in, uh, about people disability in scientific research. I uh, enjoyed the course, uh, it was a um, learning experience on my side. I, um, what interested me most um, was um, when you conduct research, we go through a number of processes, for example, from the time you collect this data and analyze this data. All those steps should be documented so that our research can be transparent, our research can be credible, and uh, to enable also people who want to get the same results that we produced, if they want to produce our work they can follow the same steps um, that have been well documented and also the other aspect that interested me most was uh, reading about the articles that were retracted because um, they were because of academic fraud and also because uh, they could not be reproduced I um, like the vision of um, SFI which is intended to equip African scholars so equipping African scholars you need to train them give them the skills so that uh, at the end of the day they will be able to compete on the world market. Um, the materials shared in this course were very uh, relevant to the course and um, I like the teaching style. Um, we are grouped into different um, groups where we attended to different tasks that were assigned to us. And um, the courses offered at SFI are very, very good. Uh, I've attended so far the systematic review and meta-analysis course and also the art of uh, scientific writing and um, publishing which were very engaging and uh, they are very relevant to, to our um, world today. I really en encourage my friend, my peers to attend um, SFI courses because um, they are organized very well, the materials shared are very relevant and they can improve on the way um, we conduct our research and um, the way we produce our results. So anytime, any day, I'd really encourage people whenever they get a chance to enroll to, on these courses that are offered by um, SFI and I would like to say thank you SFI for this platform, thank you SFI for equipping Africans and thank you for sharing your knowledge. Uh, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello, my name is Maisa Gedo Mohamed, a Sudanese researcher at the National Center for Research in Khartoum, Sudan. At the same time, I'm a PhD student at Zakaria University, Turkey, in the field of electrical and electronics engineering. I have participated in, in the course on reproducibility in scientific research given by ASFI initiatives as one of the courses organized uh, by ASFI for is, uh, Afri is uh, African scholars. Before the course, I had no idea about the reproducibility and how it affects the research and publication in science. I like these five days uh, of the course uh, and I, so much, and I enjoyed a lot. Uh, is, especially during the course, I had the opportunity to know new participants and new African scholars from all countries in Africa. Especially, I learned a lot from uh, Prof. Bright and his way of thinking, his way of explaining, and also the material of the course was so excellent and it, its quality was so excellent. I would like to contribute again and again in such courses like this to have more knowledge in scientific research to help me for my career and uh, my current study in science as well I, to know more skills about 
brainstorming and how to find immediate solution for any problem because I learned these skills while I was discussing with my group or uh, with other groups uh, during the course. I will recommend this course to all scholars or African scholars and even for my uh, colleagues to have the opportunity to in to be in this course to help them to be the best scholars in the world on the mission and vision of ASFI I think it's a great idea to start this course and I hope that such courses will continue to benefit Africans and especially African scholars thank you hello everyone out there good day my name is Kingsley Ugwabu. I'm presently an assistant lecturer at the University of Port Harcourt, Nigeria. I'm a Nigerian. I was privileged to be part of the last course or training by organized by ASFI, that's African Science Frontier Initiatives, organized or anchored by Associate Professor Bright Wanru. It was quite an experience. I was exposed to several other things. Reproducibility in scientific research was the theme for this particular course. It was quite interesting. It was a week program and um, a lot of exposure, a lot of experiences, a lot of understandings, especially with respect to reproducibility. If a work, if a scientific work must be original, if it must be authentic, it should be reproducible. This is necessary in order to avoid and reduce the rate of fake inf fake data collection, fake fake publications. And also there are a lot of risks involved, a lot of the consequences are also, also high when one is caught doing the wrong thing. But better understanding, exposure and enlightenment to the essence of reproducibility as it is a serious necessity to make a research work reliable, replicable, dependable, standardized, and authentic. It was quite a wonderful experience. Uh, also great kudos to the facilitators, especially the group coordinators. My group was great. My facilitator was really great. It was a wonderful experience. Everybody was made to participate. It wasn't just a time to just keep your phone and go elsewhere. All participated and the materials were quite enlightening. The materials were great. I really want to thank uh, Associate Professor Bright Wan for this vision. It's great. It's great. I commend you greatly, sir. Hoping that more, more and more scholars will get involved in being trained and also joining to train others. It's a great vision, sir. And we're hoping that more people will be interested and um, get exposed and get more enlightened with several areas with regard to research, irrespective of the field. Thank you very much once again for the vision. Thank you very much again for the program. Thank you very much for the training. I remain very grateful. Thank you very much. Hello. I am Jacqueline Dicti Vildina, a senior lecturer in parasitology at the University of Ngaoundere in Cameroon. Reproducibility in research course was eye-opening for me on translating research into social life improvement. I will absolutely recommend this course to my colleague because it will help them improve the quality of the research they are involved in. I hope all African scientists will join ASFI in their vision and mission. By so doing, we will write a bright history of the future of Africa. I am so proud of 
having had the privilege to take three of our ASFI courses. The courses I attended changed my perspective of doing research in Cameroon. I would like to take this opportunity to thank AFSI staff and I will encourage them to continue and go ahead what they are doing today they will see the fruit in the near future thank you thank you for all your passion that you put in these courses for all Africa. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Titilayo Oswago, a senior lecturer in the Department of Broadcasting, Faculty of Communication and Media Studies, University of Port Harcourt, Nigeria. I was privileged to attend the conference or the course organized by ASPI, the course titled uh, Reproducibility in Scientific Research. The course was organized uh, between 21st of, uh, 21st to 25th of February 2022. I must say that the course was very insightful. Every aspect of, of the course was quite educative, from the breakout sessions to the um, Professor Nwaru's uh, uh, class, classes and, um, and the interactive, uh, the question and answer sessions, the class activities, all were quite educative and quite exciting. I would like to recommend the course to anybody who is interested in learning anybody who is interested in self-development, anybody who is interested in research. The, the offerings that ASPI has, uh, has, uh, has in stock are quite beneficial. So I will recommend those initiatives to anybody. Uh, having said that, I quite agree with the vision and mission of the ASPI, that vision that seeks to use uh, African science to tackle African developmental challenges. I quite agree with it because we all know that uh, we are in the technological era and any society that fails to embrace science and technology, the, uh, the, that society will be left behind. So. I am quite appreciative uh, to Professor Bright Nwaru and his crew for the good work they are doing in Africa. I want to say, keep it up. It's only God that will reward you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. C. Ongigwe. I work with the University of Nigeria. I'm a Nigerian and I'm a veterinary surgeon by profession also a senior lecturer in the Department of Animal Health and Production. I like the course Reproducibility in Research that was offered by ASFI. It was a very nice course and um, I also tell you that I love the way the course was taught. We were divided into groups, and each group worked so hard to meet their target projects that we were given. I would recommend this course to my colleagues so that they will be able to understand the difference between the possibility and the reputability in the research process. The mission and vision of ASFI is very clear and germane to 
the development of Africa. Through the training offered by ASFI, the scientists in Africa will be put on the correct pedestal to compete with their peers all over the world. Um, ASFI is very uh, strong in building the capacity of African scientists. And um, I would tell you, I can tell you that the courses or the trainings offered by ASFI are of high quality. And I thank Professor Bright for the sacrifice he's making to make sure that African scientists come to the same level with their peers all over the world. Thank you so much. Hi. Uh, my name is Dr. Lim Gilempofu, a graduate from the University of KwaZulu-Natal in South Africa. I'm a Zimbabwean by birth and now permanently residing in South Africa. My profession, I'm a research director by, uh, for JD Group of Companies. Uh, I've just attended a course by ASFI on reproducibility. You know, uh, when I applied to do the course with ASFI, I did not know what reproducibility was. Uh, while I felt the pressure with my daily work at JD Group, um, I felt it was not worth my time to do the course uh, on reproducibility. But believe you me, it was worth my time as I learned uh, that reproducibility could serve as a quality control in scientific research. Uh, it validates the authenticity of the first experiments done by a researcher. You know, as researchers, we are pushed uh, to publish and we tend to push poor quality scientific uh, work for the sake of quantity and wanting to publish. Attending ASFI a workshop on reproducibility uh, schooled me a lot. Um, the course was very interesting. Uh, Dr. Bright's approach uh, is, is commended for being professional and adult focused. Uh, I've also made friends uh, through attending this course and collaborated with researchers all over Africa. Thank you, ASFI. I recommend this course for all the scientific writers who want to write and have an impact on their community by not just pushing and shove uh, to their audience or unverified work as it negatively reflects on all of us as, as scientific writers. I can say ASFI's mission and vision of equipping African science as a major uh, panacea to Africa's developmental challenges was embraced in this course. And I rate the quality of ASFI teaching and uh, materials at more than 100% uh, as it was very relevant to its audience. Thank you ASFI for this opportunity. Uh, well done. I will always be your fan. If opportunity avails, I would like to be enrolled for systematic reviews. Thank you. My name is Dr. Niri Mata Choji, a senior lecturer in the Department of Mathematics, Plateau State University, focus in Nigeria. I so much enjoyed the course on reproducibility in scientific research taught by Dr. Bright. It was very educative. Every part of the course was interesting, especially the breakout sessions where we had to work um, in groups to achieve um, a given task. The teaching approach was fantastic. I recommend the course to my colleagues because everyone involved in scientific research need to know the importance of producing research articles that can be reproduced. I embrace the vision of ASFI. That is why anytime I see um, workshops from ASFI, I apply so that I will be fully equipped to actively participate in the development of Africa. 
I'm very pleased with the courses offered by ASFI, which target at building the capacity of Afri the African scientists. The quality of the material of the teaching was top notch. The materials were excellent. God bless ASFI. God bless Africa. Thank you for the opportunity. My name is Joshua Desant. I'm from Angola. I'm a biochemistry teacher and uh, clinical biochemistry research of veterinary faculty in one of hundreds of Angola. This course about reproducibility in scientific research was my third course that I participate. Uh, I, I, uh, I say that this particular course was beautiful for me, was a particular opportunity to learn, to change ideas with everyone that participates in, in these editions. Uh, I say thanks to Dr. Bright and his team to permission in participating in this course because I think that it was an opportunity to improve my skills in research. Uh, I say I say that uh, it was was the best is it is the best way to change idea ideas to change experience to to change uh, many things that you uh, have learned in this course. I wish the best for you, Dr. Bright, for everyone that participated in this course and, and uh, their family. So I, I hope that uh, we will participate in the next course that we uh, will, will, will promote by S5 program. Thank you and bye. My name is Stella. I work with the Federal Medical Center Abiyokuta as a consultant, oral and magnificial surgeon. I'm from Nigeria. I'm currently a chief consultant with the hospital I work with. How did I like the course? I was opportune to attend the reproducibility in scientific research that just took place in February 21st to the 25th of February of this year and I extremely liked the course. It was the very first time I got to know about what reproducibility in scientific research meant. Initially, when I first just heard about it in person, I used to think it was replicability or even duplicability until I went for the course and I got to know that it also meant transparency. The research, uh, the course has actually taught me how to be transparent in every stage in scientific writing. The most interesting part of the course for me was the manner in which the topic was extensively treated. The breakout room really stood out because you got to be in groups where you go to discuss further. Then the interactive teaching too was particularly very, very interesting. Then the icing on, on the cake was the, was the way that group members got to interact even at the end of the close of the, of the teaching, got to interact in the, science, in the WhatsApp group to carry out the various projects that we had and also to be on time with the deliverables that were needed. The teaching approach also was very nice because it consisted of um, interactive teaching in addition to also having real time, um, real, uh, in addition to also having the opportunity to practice what one has learned in the class real time at the end of the class. I will really recommend this training to other scientists in Africa because as we know ASFI one of the, its main mission and vision is to equip African science 
and make it as a panacea to the development of Africa. So this course really has taught us how to be transparent in writing. Hi everybody, my name is Michael Charles Ngimba from Kilimanjaro Christian Medical University College Casey Muko in Tanzania. I am a PhD candidate in biomedical sciences. Uh, my professional is a scientific researcher in the field of microbiology, immunology, and molecular biology. And uh, my current position is a lecturer. As I have said, at Kilimanjaro Christian Medical University College in Kilimanjaro, Tanzania. I liked the course as it was aimed at imparting scientific understanding on research reproducibility. The course was interesting the most to me because it revealed the secrets behind research reproducibility in both qualitative and quantitative approaches to research. The approach of teaching the course was so arranged and non-boring as it was so participatory. What does it mean? Both of us we were in a course we were able to to induce our ideas so everyone were participating in the course. I recommend the course to other colleagues regardless of the fields they are. Even those who are in social sciences, they are welcome to involve in this course. I embrace the vision of ASFI to equip African scientists as a major penalty to African development challenges. The quality of teaching and the materials given by ASFI was in the best quality. They were organized and well understood. As a scientist, will help me in the near future to help my country and the African continent as a world. Thank you very much. I welcome all of you and I wish you all the best and I advise you to join this course because it will help you to conduct your researches and to be calm. My name is Mrs. Susan Silvanus from Abia State University in Uturu, here in Nigeria. I'm also a PhD student of physics from Federal University of Technology. Oh, well. I was part of the ASFI Reproducibility Scientific Research held in February. The Long duration of the course wanted to make me lose interest in the course. But after the first day, I my interest was aroused due to the breaking into groups of the participants. Of course, that's aroused my interest. We have got to know one another better and uh, contacts we are exchanged. Because we employed a very systematic, innovating and novel approach. Of course, I will be part of the vision of SFI by promoting it, I will not fail to expose my students to reproducibility in scientific research, even my colleagues, because myself, this course was really an eye opener. It was my first time of hearing reproducibility in scientific research. I have not heard about that. But this course exposed me to certain things 
that I never knew in scientific research. The materials, the topics covered, we are very superb. Kudos to Dr. Bright Maru and his team who made this possible.